Hello beautiful peeps of YouTube and welcome. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat and you're watching Planning Calm. And here in this channel, I love, love, love to share with you all the many ways I can help you plan your way to calm and plan a calmer life. This is my um, setup and how I've set up basically my 2024 Sterling Inc. Common Planner. Now this is a new planner to me. Last year I used the Hobonichi Cousin and I love that planner. And a lot of my subscribers here on YouTube and on Instagram, my followers there, recommended this planner to me. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to give it a try and boy am I glad I did. It is such a beautiful comprehensive planner that i have been loving and using every day folks every day for the month of january so far and i'm absolutely thrilled about it so i'm going to walk you through how i've set it up now i had gleaned um inspiration as i always do from miss julie's plans here on youtube i love her channel she is my planner guru go to or go to guru um and i love her channel so check her out below um i got a lot of my ideas from her channel so first things first you are first um or i am first greeted when i open my planner with my prayer board a bunch of different pictures to represent uh the various aspirations that i have for the year um and beyond as well and um, again, there's that uh, 100,000 uh, subscriber. I, I dream of being able to hit that number. That is like the ultimate goal for me. But um, so anyway, so this is the, the front of the planner here. And I've just turned that into my inspiration board and my prayer board. And then I turn the page and then I'm greeted with the beginning of the planner. And I just have these stickers here that I got from Etsy. I'll link this shot below um, a long, long time ago. And here, when you open up, I have um, just the 2024 year at a, gla at a glance. Um, typically, I would use my dot markers and, and mark off important dates. I haven't got there yet. It's just is what it is. But um, and then when I turn the page here, I just have a note um, to God for what I um, like my focus for the year and kind of where I am going and how I see things. And so um, I like to reference this note um, about once a week or so just to make sure that I'm staying on track. But there's that in there. Um, and then there is a section for goal breakdown. Now comment down below and let me know if you are a Hobonichi or a common planner user, how do you use these sheets to set up? Um, I, I haven't had time to look on YouTube for inspiration, but um, these pages as you'll see here they have the quarter one pages so january february march so every three months um there's a different quarter and you can put in your priorities and goals and things that you want to track i haven't got there yet folks i haven't really figured out what it is i want to track but if you have any suggestions i would love to know so comment down below and give me some ideas because your girl is struggling <laughs> but you have quarter two here and then quarter three and of course quarter four is uh takes us to the last three months of the year um and then next these next pages here are my monthly pages now i have to be in full transparency i was losing my marbles because i had a sticker situation um so i started off in december and i had a vision of how i wanted everything to look in this planner and the vision did not work and so that has left me um, with some damaged pages in this planner here uh, i don't know if you can see that but i there were some stickers i put out there that just didn't work and stickers up here and i had to take them off and it totally wrecked um this month view and also into February as well but you know I had to let it go it really really irked me but I had to let it go because you know what it's just a planner boo and I don't I don't need to be losing sleep over that stuff but these are my quarter one um well actually March isn't here yet but um December when I first got the planner I put that out there um January and I'm trying to keep very minimal with the stickers especially after this incident I just I love stickers but I'm not stressing out about stickers anymore I just can't <laughs> So I'm just using um, just some for a little bit of enhancement, but I'm not 
living or breathing or dying with stickers or anything like that. I have some of my favorite stickers here from my favorite sticker shops, um, Elisa Ravel, and um, I'm just loving, loving them. So I like the fact that it's sprinkled within. February's coming up, which is why I have my love theme. I have my love cup here from Ray Dunn, and I'm so excited. And so this is the monthly views here with the various months, um, just like the Hobonichi. Um, but for some reason, I, I don't know why, but I love this setup. Um, it's it's a little different. I don't know what it is. Comment down below if you know if you're an avid Hobonichi and common planner, but I just feel like it's just so much easier to write in and work with. Um, so those are all the monthly pages. And then we move into my weekly pages. And so again, um, I've kind of implemented a variety of things on these sheets here. So minimal stickers. Again, I just have a couple here. Um, and as I go through, um, so here I have um, some more. Um, so this week was, which was last week, I think. I don't even know what date is today. <laughs> um, but this week happened and it was a rough week, let me tell you. Um, but um, what was good about it was I just kept things minimal. Um, I just had stickers for just things that needed to be highlighted and the rest is just um, my pen. So I'm using my Sharpie pen, which has been a surprise hit. Um, I usually use the Micron pen. Um, this has been my go-to, but I'm finding that the, the tip of it, the numb of it is kind of wearing down because I press so hard. So I have been loving the Sharpie pen um, to help me kind of you know, right in my planners and it's been great. And so, um, yeah, I've been really liking, so I put my to do's on the side here and then homework for my class. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm in grad school right now. Then I have my works, my work days here and I have them blocked off. So the time, and I do that because I love the concept of time blocking, just seeing where my time is being allocated. So I know, you know, what I need to kind of hone in on and draw back on if I'm doing too much work, et cetera, et cetera. But I've been loving this layout and it's just so simple. I think because I'm not using a sticker kit per se, or I'm not using a variety of colors and all these type of things. Um, if you notice that if I go back here, January, um, this is the color I'm using for all of January. So all my January things will be in this color, which follows my weekly. And you'll see that in my dailies as well when I get there. Um, but also, so um, just putting in all the things that I need to put in. I'm also putting in my meals that I have in the evening. I'm not making a big deal about it. I'm just jotting down what it is that we have. Some nights when I was sick or, you know, just really having a rough day, I didn't even eat dinner, but it is what it is. <laughs> daily pages are... They're actually not daily pages. I'm using them as daily pages, but they're just plain pages. And they are numbered here. There's a number... There's little numbers for each day. And what I plan to do is for each day of the year, use that page to write a little something. So I'm taking this as my journaling pages and it's been so much fun. I'm having a blast with it. And so I put the date up here just with a plain old Crayola black uh, marker, not getting any fancy. I'm using the same color wave as I did for my monthly and my weekly planner, this mild liner here. And I just added, just recently added some dates just at the bottom. So when I'm turning the pages, it's just easier to find things. But other than that, that's it. And so these are the pages I've done so far. I've been using stickers. I've been just mapping things out the way I want and just every day just putting something down. Sometimes I write a lot, sometimes I write a little, but I have these stickers from Redbubble here, which I'm loving. Um, I've treated myself at Christmas time with these Redbubble stickers on the recommendation of Julie's plans, of course. And yeah, it's just, just great. I actually even made a note of it right here, <laughs> Julie's plans, um, love her channel. Um, but yeah, just mark, chronicling, marking down. Um, I wanted to, there's a picture that, uh, of a friend I that passed away on this date, but just for privacy, I took it out just for this video, but I will put it back in. But I mean, I have lots of different, uh, you know, stickers and just things I'm writing down and I'm just chronicling my feelings. Sometimes it's gratitude. Sometimes it's just a rant and I'm okay with that. Um, sometimes I put a Bible verse down if I need some inspiration 
um, things I'm grateful for, what happened to me that day, and so on. This is the latest I did a couple days ago. I think it was Thursday or something. Um, I was just in the fields and I felt like chronicling that. I did an Instagram post on it, so check it out. Um, and then I believe this was yesterday's. I haven't done one for today yet because it's the 20th and I typically do these either in the morning or in the evening when I'm just winding down because um, like I said, I use this, use planning to calm myself. So um, yeah, I've just been loving this. And like I said, there's, a, there's like enough of these pages for each day of the year. There's 368, 69 pages. And I love that about the Common Planner. And towards the back, there was just like some empty blank spaces. And that is that. I love this, this planner so much. I've been using it and loving it. And I've been able to stick with it. Usually I kind of, you know, fizzle out on something after two weeks, but I've just been really loving it. And um, I'm thinking of maybe even taping down or laminating some of these things but again that takes time and baby ain't got no time so it is what it is for now it doesn't seem to be affected as i use it so that's okay um but that is how i've set up my 2024 common planner so i hope you enjoyed i hope this gave you some inspiration if it did don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more planner content to come in the future so until next time my beautiful friends take care be well be blessed and i'll see you all in the the next planner video. Bye bye, planner peeps. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of butterfly. Baby, you give me fear. Night up. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me here.